the public's perception is that this is a place where inmates go, they're just shuffled in behind some bars and that's it. There's so much more to it. I think you can make a difference on the way that people re-enter society and, and what they do after they leave the jail system. I think that's the part that drew me to it the most, was just wanting to give someone else the insight that, hey, you can do better. Make sure that they understand that you're not here to judge them. Our responsibility is the safety and security of the inmates, not what they did or not why they did it. Some of the inmates that come here, they've never seen respect. And so to call them sir, or if their last name is Smith, say Mr. Smith, is in some cases, that's the last piece of dignity that they have. That in itself makes a big difference. When you're escorting them through the facility, and they share their story. They're like, I have been in trouble since I was 16 and I've really tried to change things, but I never can get on track. And just by that short conversation with them, it sticks with them. This is probably one of the most diverse departments of the county employment. I think we have all nationalities, all religions, male and female. And you have such a diverse inmate population you need that diversity in the workforce. And I think that's where we most stand out is that for every situation, we have someone who can relate to inmates. I think by me being a minority, that most times when they see someone that looks like them in a positive light, it gives them some sense of hope or some sense of maybe I can do better. Initially, I wanted to go to be a police officer. I wanted to be in law enforcement. Majority of the people came with the same mindset as myself and they're still here. So I think that speaks volumes for this career, this department and the county in general. The fact that we have second, third, and in some cases even fourth generation employees here. My wife works here. My wife is pregnant. Our benefits are probably the top in the in the state and so it allows you to buy a home it allows you to take care of your family this is actually a career when we first start everyone is assigned to the housing units or the decks which means you're responsible for the inmate population and trying to make sure that we stay on top of everything that could potentially be a threat to the civilian staff the nursing staff and our co-workers. We have every level offender known to the criminal element. So we have everything from simple shoplifting all the way up to mass murder. So every crime comes through here. We know what they're doing and we know where they're gonna be and we know when we're going to them as opposed to that a police officer is going to who knows what. If they're dangerous, we know, hey, we got to watch this guy. See these people day to day and we see what they're doing, what they're capable of. And I think that our training prepares us to be safe. I think the department does a good job of preparing us for situations that could be dangerous and teaching us to how to respond and how to react. So we're confident that this person next to me, I know that that person wants to see me go home safely and they want to go home safely. Your next available officer is so close, you know that you're never by yourself inside this facility. 90% of this job is communication. And as long as you can be the professional and understand that if that person is yelling at you, that's not personal. They're not yelling at you as a person or you as an officer even they're angry or upset with their situation. And you as the, as the professional have to constantly be aware of that. I think that one of the most rewarding things for me is when I'm at the supermarket or when I'm at the gym and a former inmate comes up to me and says, hey, you know what, I'm doing well now. I can remember one inmate that came up to me and he said, hey, you know, I've never had anybody talk to me the way that you have. You respected me. I not only have I stayed out of trouble, but I have moved away from the neighborhood that I lived in so that I'm no longer dealing with the same people. So I changed my conditions in order to 
do better. And I just wanted to let you know that I thought of you when I was making those changes. It was a heartwarming experience um, because he was in trouble and he changed, he changed. I think that says that in some way I touched them or I impacted them or I gave them inspiration to, uh, I would like to think, to stay out of trouble. That's extremely rewarding.